Hey guys, so it's me and we are going for a ride. It is so nice out. Today has been kind of a busy day. I've been out of the house all day with the kids. I had an ENT appointment. I had uh, lunch with my mom. Did some grocery shopping because I'm trying to get my groceries every two days for the meals so that way we don't waste food because we have a tendency to do that, especially with fresh produce and our farmer's market opening down the street. Like literally, it's down the street from our house. It's awesome. So we did some grocery shopping and then we picked up Ava from school and stuff like that. Oh, I had to go to um, our local bike shop, which I hate going to bike shops because they're so stinking snooty. They're just, I don't even know. Village Cycle was the first place that me and my husband had gone to where we felt like we had a good time being there. Our stores here, we just feel like we'd rather knife ourselves in the eyeballs than go walk in and talk to somebody who works at one of our bike shops because they're just horrible. And today was no different. I walked in with my two kids and they treated me like I was an idiot. So we paid way too much money for two new sets of tires and um, one tube for our trailer. Like if you saw our video that I posted of our Saturday ride, we blew a tire um, in our trailer. So because I'm testing out my new road bike that I bought over the weekend in Chicago, I am going to not drag a kid today, so, and we lent our Wii out to a friend for them to try with their son. So, we only have our trailer, which is a two-seater, so John's going to drag Kaya and Wyatt, and Ava is at her dad's, and then I will test out my road bike, and we're going to go hit the trail and see how things go. Um, but we needed to replace those tires, so I spent $87 on two new sets of tires. Like, seriously, that's like two new sets of tires for, like, a car, but, you know, whatever. So we're gonna go for a ride and I thought I'd take you guys along and yeah. Hi sweetie. Hi. Hi. Are you so gonna this is my new baby. Are you gonna, are you I love her. I picked down? out matching teal cages. Gonna so I'm gonna go fill up some water bottles and I broke out the Vibrams because it's so nice out, which these are three years old. I probably need a new pair. Yeah, Wyatt's excited. Are you excited, Wyatt? Yeah. Yeah. These are my Vibrams. I think I need new ones. I've had them for three years, and I'm pretty sure just like normal walking shoes, you're supposed to replace them probably once a year, but I haven't had time. But I'm glad I can break them out. It's finally warm enough. Wyatt's got his flipper flops on because he's not riding. He's going to ride in the trailer. Mm. So we are packed up in the minivan. Got John's bike. We have John's bike. He's got, I think, a 56-inch frame. And then we have mine. I'm a 47, which is the smallest that um, Trek makes in a women's size. I don't know. This might not actually fit in here. We'll see. And then we have our Switchback Hybrid, which the two kids will be riding in. So we are going to get on the way, else we are never going to get riding. All right, so this is my new bike. I will try to upload some footage of our trip to Chicago and when we purchase this bike at Village Cycle. Uh, if I don't, Sorry, but I'll try to remember to insert it around here. Hi. What are you doing? Well, check the seat high in the but that's good. Okay. So, and I've been riding, we've been riding hard. <coughs> the seat goes as far down as possible, and it's still too high. Um, yeah. 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 So, the bottom line is here. Look at the, the parameters of the seat to the handlebar. Well, the seat the handlebar is very close to each other, so your reach looks good. It's been a while since I've been on a road bike. Here she goes. Crash. Think I'll slow down, Nick. Drink you slow down. Don't be careful. This is what it looks like. And then I picked up those cages as well. And of course, you guys know I have a bottle fetish, so I had to buy new bottles as well to uh, go in there. Unfortunately, my frame is a 47 centimeter, so it's so small that these things are kind of a pain to get in and out. So that'll be interesting to try to work those out. I filled them both with water because we are training for a 60 mile ride, so I figured I might as well get used to carrying around two full bottles of water. Um, there's John's bike. John's is a 56 centimeter. John, frame. 
So his is quite a bit bigger. Um, he thinks it's hilarious how small mine looks. Because <laughs> we have the same size wheels, but my frame's just very much smaller. So there's that. Look at this. I mean, there's like no room. Whereas John's, plenty of room. <laughs> and then we have the trailer. So we're going to get the kids in the trailer and we are going to take off and go for a little bit of a ride. One thing that I forgot to mention is that these are not the pedals that will be on my bike. These are actually pedals from, or this is from your mountain bike, John? Yeah. These are John's, John, these are from John's old mountain biking um, bike. My pedals are actually going to be egg beaters. They're similar to my husband's over here. They're going to look like that. Uh, and I also bought some Von Traeger uh, mountain biking shoes. They kind, kind of look like that, but a little bit different. They're female form, and those will those are be the pedals I use. But we ordered them because Village Cycle was sold out of them. So I purchased the shoes, and I'm just waiting for the egg beaters. They should be here, I think, hopefully this week. So until then, I'll just ride with my Vibrams, which, again, I need to get replacements. But, yeah, so let's load up the babies, shall we? And I think John's going to wear his new helmet. Bye, new Helmet. All right, so we have both kitties in the trailer for the first time. Yay! We'll see how they do. We're gonna leave the flap unzip, half unzip, because we're not gonna leave it at all unzip. No, get the sides open. Okay. So there they are. We're gonna unzip the sides. Hi guys. Hello. Yep, I put them in there. Trailer. And we're gonna take off. Yay! I'm getting a lot of bugs and gnats in my mouth and in my eyes and my eyebrows and in my shirt, and it's really gross. Look. They're just sticking to me. Check out that handy camera work. Steady as steady as a tripod, and I'm riding a bike. Well, no mine says so. You guys can get some of this action of the bugs getting in your camera lens. It's disgusting. I almost swallowed. I almost swallowed a fly. No joke. So this is my view right now. There's my bottles. My vibrams. I'm excited to get my egg beaters. I'm gonna have to practice getting in and out of them though. Good. Oh, that's a stinky smell. Look at how cool his helmet looks. I like it. Why would why do I have to bump it up? Just eventually. To keep up with you? When you and I ride, just me and you. <laughs> so you're saying when we ride, I have to bump up to your speed that you're comfortable no. with? I'm going to bump down to you, and you're going to bump up to me. We're going to hit it in the middle, like any good marriage. <laughs> My mom used to joke around and say that you, to test one's marriage, get on a tandem. John and I didn't really understand that until we did a tandem rally two years ago. I think it was 66 miles against wind with hills. And it definitely tested our marriage. I don't think we fought more in one, well, how long did it take us? Three hours? Four hours? Five hours? It took us a whole day to do the ride, but we fought a lot. We fought a lot. So if you want to work on marital, like, you know, communication, jump on a tandem with your spouse and go on a all day ride. It'll do that for you. Why did you have fun? No, I don't, I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back. You don't want to go back? You had too much fun, you don't want to go back? No. John's helmet. And this is what we call helmet head. <laughs> Come closer. Three nice little stripes. <gasps> Why it's anxious to get out. I did pretty well on my bike, I like it. I think the only thing I have to work on is getting my bottles in and out without getting off my bike. Because they're kind of, it's a tight fit down there. Oh, jeez, but we did well for our first ride. Well, me for my first ride. And John, he sped ahead of me with the two kids behind him. But I don't think he really wants to ride with two kids behind him every day. But if we do this every Tuesday and Thursday, or at least twice a week, I think we'll be good.
kind of mismatchy because it was kind of warm out. But then I thought it would get cold and I was right. So she's got a jacket and then her baby legs on. Hi, CD. Why is your brother so cranky? So it doesn't fall. See, this one's always happy and this one's cranky 50 50. What kind of ice cream are you getting at the ice cream shop? An ice cream cone? That's yeah. the kind of ice cream you're getting is ice cream cone? Yeah. Sounds good. What kind of ice cream are you going to get in your ice cream cone? Um, sprinkles. Sprinkles? So Wyatt's getting sprinkle ice cream in an ice cream cone. What are you going to get, Kaya? Say whatever mommy feeds me. He's your baby. You're so, so cute little baby. Strapped, good to know. John's going to put together the hybrid. It's called a hybrid because it's a baby jogger and it's a bike switchback trailer. Hybrid. It's a switchback hybrid. Baby jogger switchback hybrid. It's a baby jogger switchback hybrid. So that goes in there and then this, these right here pop out for the front wheel when it's a baby jogger. Or jogging stroller I should say. And those pop off. That's one of the wheels that I bought today totaling 80 so, something dollars. You gotta make sure you put them on in the right direction, right gotcha. Kelly? Because it's so drive should be rolling towards Are you sure? the direction you're going. Are you positive about that? Yeah. Okay. And it's a good sign that these nubbies are still here because if it was on wrong or if it was rubbing weird, the nubbies like Lisa's the nubbies bike would be gone already. So we went from a 40 psi tire on this thing to a 100 psi, and I put a 100 in it so. The rolling resistance on the same size tire is drastically reduced, which allowed me to go much faster, longer, and it was more comfortable for me to pull two kids. So is that why this one was $29.99 for one instead yeah. of $19.99 like the other one? Right. Yeah. Because they're more expensive and they had gotcha. better. So they are better all around. I guess better for like a long distance faster ride when we originally had this thing I could only get up to maybe 12 to 14 miles an hour and now I can in shape I could probably ride almost 17 yeah for maybe 20 miles without dying completely which my goal is to do so, pull for the kids eventually yeah, so, so pull, we're gonna see how that goes so that's one pull. wheel Other wheel pops off, nice little red button. And I like this as a stroller, probably more than a bike trailer. It's a heavy bike trailer. Yeah, but now with those wheels, it's okay. Once you get up to speed, it's not so good. Yeah. You know, this is how you fold it. There's two handles. Boom! That's what I like about and that, the too. Side. And these snap together to hold it closed. Which this handle actually folds down too yeah. for, but we had it up for some reason. And there's lots of pockets. Did you empty the pockets? No. You didn't? <laughs> I guess I should have. So our phones are all in there. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. So. User uh, error. Take your phones out. <laughs> take your phones out. Fold it. But that was cool, the quick fold. See, it even says quick fold. But there's this nifty back pocket for all your junk. So it's nice for if you go somewhere, like when we go to the farmer's market and stuff. Two zippered pockets on the inside and one big pouch for diapers and snacks. Oh, we should put those, uh, those pee bags in the... Oh yeah, the Travel Johns. John likes the Travel Johns. He tried one, I forced him to. He didn't do it because he wanted to, but I forced him to, to see if they worked. And they do. Nobody's vomited in one yet, but pee works. <laughs> and then there you go. It's really, it's heavy though, right? It's heavy, it's not like a light... So if you're just looking for something to strictly be a bike trailer and you don't need anything special, I would definitely pick a different trailer. Yeah, this um, is definitely not. It's definitely not a lightweight one. I kind of wish we had a lighter weight one and I don't think, we're not, I don't know. I don't know what we'll do, but we'll use the one that we have because it was really expensive. It was like $7.99 or $6.99, brand new three years ago. Um, so it's a good, it's a good trailer, but they ex described it as the Cadillac of bike trailer slash baby jogger stroller. So. Yeah, we uh, probably would have picked a lighter weight one. Here's John's heart monitor. If you're wondering what that clicking noises were. All right, we're gonna pack up and get some ice cream. So I chose a Snickers Blizzard with extra Snickers. 
Don has a Reese's one down there. And what would you get? Small sprinkles and ice cream? Yeah. Yeah, is it yummy? I wanted the ice cream cone. All right, next time, okay? I wanted the ice cream cone. So we're gonna head home, do baths, and that's the end of our day.